Hey guys, what's up? Uh, I've got a repair video to make today. This is a Xbox Slim motherboard. This Xbox Slim came with a red light problem. I did disassemble. I don't want to make the video longer. So I remove everything. You guys can find a lot of um, Xbox 360 Slim tear down video in YouTube uh, there is a lot so that's why I didn't make the full undoing things anyway uh, this one has an issue it doesn't boot when it was when you power it on then it goes to re uh, the, the the button goes to this middle button lights up red after it only shows for a few seconds the green one and then it shows a red light so we don't have a boot on this um when i open and as soon as i see the condition of the motherboard and the whole unit it was a lot of dust a lot simply like uh, the guy said he wasn't using it for a while because it was having red light issue and then it kept getting dust and dust and dust so what i will do i will clean certain places with the uh, spirit um, and uh, that's my f first things that i wanna do i don't wanna just jump into the conclusion that something is dead or damaged first let me clean it with some Spirit and maybe reheat the CPU and the South Bridge chip. I think this is a South Bridge chip, if I'm not wrong. Uh, so I'm gonna reheat a little bit and uh, try to use methylated spirit or spirit to clean. Um, and then we will see if it comes on. Um, it should have a what you call blue light or green light. So let's get on to it. Beside the dust, the the unit doesn't have really anything. What you call? I don't know where to clean because the dust is being blown away. So let's let's first. The CPU has I see the the what you call CPU paste is dried out i want to remove that first before i go into something else <laughs> i've got a strong belief i feel this this unit don't have a, a serious problem probably something made this unit hard locked so let's have a look okay the the heating process i'm not gonna use um flux soldering flux um i don't want to go or heat the unit to extreme like to reflow um if the first issue i mean the problem still persists then we will get into the other one other type of technique to try to make this xbox working right i need some hold on okay i've got the heat gun uh i put it on 300 degree on 50 percent airflow I'm not gonna, like I said, I'm not gonna push too much heat onto the board. Why is my hand is now coming like that? Hold on guys, hold on guys. Okay. I'm not reflowing it, eh? Please remember. Um, 
I don't want to reflow it because like I said I don't think it's a big issue on it hold on there's some customers okay um, as you see I did not do a lot of reheating to do the reflow this is not a reflow that I did I j I'm just trying to see if this unit is not a uh, probably bricked or something hardware way not software way um, let's have a look at it let it cool down and then I'm going to try to um, see if it works okay guys um, let me put the heat sink it's just the unit to detect that the heat sink is there otherwise I think it might not um, it might not work at all Okay, have a look, the green, green light is flashing but no red light yet, no picture, oh, <laughs> right, there is picture, wow, basically, I am into the Xbox. You know what? The work is not done yet. I'm going to reassemble the whole things. Um, let me change now this to me. You guys can see, right? The machine is working. It's working. It's working. It's working. Amazing. Um, I am very happy, 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 I'm very happy, I'm very happy, it is working guys, uh, as you see, I'm going to put everything, I mean, put it together, the whole unit, and then um, we will. I will see if I can use a controller to, to go through the menu. Uh, let's let's switch it off. I can't believe I did not had to do so many things. I can't believe that's amazing. So the the what I understand on the condition of this uh, Xbox, it's coming on. <laughs> um, before we jump the big guns. First, 
try this what I tried today hopefully some of the unit will work and um, before replacing or checking the components um, <clears throat> but like I said it was having a red light instead of booting on so I felt I don't see any it's constant steady ready red light steady red red light uh, it's not flashing or anything it was just straight red light and I didn't find anything on internet on Google regarding um, what is the what it caused for the the red light to be straight on um, give me a moment let me put it together and I will have a look if I can use the controller and if there isn't any prob other problem okay guys um, this uh, Xbox is not fixed uh, let me explain it to you guys in shortcut as you can see fan is spinning the Xbox is on with a red light same issue it's a red light same issue when it came so that uh, cleaning and uh, heating the motherboard didn't help what I noticed when I put back the Xbox uh, in its chassis and put all the screws and everything on it on them and then I let me switch off this one then I try to test and then I see it doesn't come on it's giving me the uh, death red ring light whatever they call it um, so then I disassemble it again and then um, when I remove this the, the the springs that holds the um, heat sink which comes underneath the motherboard it comes here that springs comes here when I remove the spring then it comes on like nothing happened to the Xbox um, so my my initial thinking of that I might be able to just clean it and uh, use the heat gun or what you call my hot air station to heat the motherboard up and then it will come right it wasn't the case the machine was only working without the heat sink and the springs or without a heat uh, without the springs and when it comes on and then I try to press some type of pressure on the heat sink or on the fan then the, the screen just distorted and then everything's gone so means the worst case scenario that I was hoping that it's not gonna go there um, this CPU on this Xbox uh, the soldering joints or soldering balls underneath or you can say the joints uh, some of them or at least one or two of them got cracked so only solution I've been searching on internet on Google on YouTube only solution for it uh, try to reflow it remember I was telling you guys I am NOT going to reflow it in the beginning so what I understand this Xbox I don't have a option any other option but reballing it ah, sorry reflowing it so means I will try today to do a reflow I, I went through a lot of videos in YouTube um, hopefully I do it right hopefully the Xbox comes on but I'm not sure I never do it before so it's the first time it will be for me to do that I don't know exactly how, how what temperature or how many minutes I must 
um, put the hot a how long must I do everyone is saying in Google different amount of time different amount of um, temperature so <clears throat> it's a 50 50 chance I might be able to revive it if I do it right way I don't know if I can but I want to try uh, if it doesn't revive then my bad customer just have to understand in any case he cannot use it um, the machine anyway so he has nothing to lose and I also has nothing to lose if it comes right then it's a win-win for both of us so what I will do first things I'm going to preheat the board I have a heat gun not hot air station I'm, I'm not going to use the hot air station the re reason is this um, heat gun has a bigger um, you can see it's it's the mouth is big anyway so it has a bigger mouth means I you can see my heat gun is nearly the size of the CPU so I'm going to use this instead of my hot air station which is very small so let's hope that it comes right and I have to make sure this caps and this caps I think they are ele electrolytic capacitors uh, if they get hit they blows up so I need to make sure that they don't get hit we, where I'm gonna use captain tape to cover them up I think captain tape should be enough because uh, so Reen used that captain tape to cover the heat from the hot air so I think it, it will work and first I'm gonna preheat from the bottom means this heat gun I will use it from a certain distance um, to warm the boat not make the boat fire hot to warm it and after that I will go on this side first I will uh, preheat the CPU area or the CPU remember I don't think I don't have problem here 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 or any other chip because when I touch the, the cooler on the CPU the Xbox died so means my problem is hopefully 100% is on the CPU so let's get on to it
start from the top and far then we can bring the heat gun closer remember do not touch the board do not knock off any component and the CPU must stay like that because if the solar soda melts underneath the CPU one small vibration one small bump can what you call move the CPU for from its position if that happens the, the CPU will lose its alignment on the board then this board is completely done so Okay guys, the board is cool, cool, cool. And it took about, it took me about 15 minutes, let's say 10, 15 minutes or maybe less. But um, I'm back after 15 minutes of waiting for the board to cool down. Um, let's test if we came right with the board. really hope that job is done otherwise we might go for four minutes eating the CPU for four minutes which I really don't want to do let me change my camera's angle so that you guys can see okay one out right let's hope for the best i did put everything i mean the heat sink on even though it's not um, it's, the springs is not attached underneath Let me just quickly double check there's nothing metallic underneath switch on but without this part I cannot see whether it's a red light coming on again or not green light is flashing no red light is coming on Let me, you know what, let me disconnect, try to it might be bricked again. Uh, I'm just holding the power button together. So if there is any type of brick, heat breaking issue, it might clear the error on, on this Xbox's BIOS if it has one. I'm sure it should have one BIOS. But I don't see any BIOS battery so I doubt. Ten, fifteen, twenty second.
You know what? Let's see without the heat sink. It's not gonna, it will shut down if the CPU overheat. Still there. What do you guys say? Should we reheat it again for four minutes? Either I did not reflow the stitch at all or the chip might be dead but I don't think the chip is dead. Uh, this chip has a what do you call it? IHS I think integrated heat sink on top of it. This is a metal part that's that is this chip's uh, own heat sink. So I don't think it's died or burned out or something. Let's let's go to four minutes according to I fix it.
okay guys the board is cool now let's test it no the reflow method didn't work still the red light I'm not going to go try any other things. Uh, I believe I couldn't reflow it properly. So there it is in pads that are not sold soldered properly. Uh, yeah. I'm going to end this video here. Please like and subscribe if you like the video and do share my channel to your people and I'll see you guys on the next video. Goodbye. Guys, the board is cooled down. Um, let's check it together switch it on and see if my repair was successful okay. it's coming on but no boot yet no my repair didn't work it's a red light now I think it means The reflow was not done 100 percent probably but honestly speaking four minutes with a heat gun on 400 degrees centigrade um, i don't have the guts or the courage to heat it more than that um, but tell you what if you guys think I should heat the CPU more than four minutes, maybe five minutes, maybe six minutes, I want you guys to write it in the comment section. Advise me if someone, any one of you have the same work done and how many minutes on how many temperature you guys reflow the chip. Please, please, please write a comment with that on, on the comment section. Video. I see the customer is also in my shop. <laughs> um, right, the customer is here. He, he's Mr. Lingo. Um, sorry, bro. I tried two times, but um, unfortunately, I couldn't recover the Xbox. Yes, you can say that, but we will remove that. Uh, we I will try. Once again, if there is any subscriber of mine that comes up with a solution or gives me another idea, maybe I need to heat the CPU for a longer period of time. But I don't want to try it myself to go more than four minutes. It's, it, I, I don't have the heart to burn the whole board. Unless someone say, no, I did heat this board for, say, uh, six minutes or five minutes or eight minutes and it didn't burn if i have that confirmation from any one of you then i will try to make again or, or i will attempt uh, one more time again to repair this board and i will make a video on it okay for now yeah for now i'll end this video like and subscribe if you guys like the video and share my channels um see you on the next one Goodbye.